my name is Natalie Barbosa. I'm a senior associate at Anthony Collins Solicitors. Kent Wildlife Trust is one of a number of wildlife trusts that exist throughout the UK. We're suffering from an ash dieback issue, which is going to see 99% of the native ash trees die. Yeah, so ash dieback is a disease that was kind of imported into this country or came into this country a couple of decades ago. And it's been gradually sort of killing off most of our native ash trees. So Kent Wildlife Trust, they want to protect and preserve nature as much as possible. They don't want to cut down those trees immediately. Charities are actually trying to not do things like clear fell large areas of ash, which provide fantastic wildlife habitat when it's alive, and also actually really good wildlife habitat when the trees have died. Deadwood is great for beetles, Beetles are really great for birds. It's part of that kind of web of life thing. You know, we need to have dead wood in our woodlands. They approached us to say, what are the legal consequences of us choosing to do this? So they needed to consider all of the possible risks that could come about from their decision to, let's let that tree die in situ rather than just cut it down. We realised quite quickly, managing risk around ash dieback was going to be quite a complicated thing. What Anthony Collins Solicitors have done with us is produce a legal report which shows the different risks, shows how we can balance them, shows effectively a decision-making tree that takes us through the different prioritisation of how to and the different opportunities for managing that risk. Care of the environment is what underpins humanity's success in the future. Humanity can't succeed unless we preserve the planet. Working with organisations like Kent Wildlife Trust, we're improving the planet, we're improving our living environment. You know, if we want to work on improving things for individuals, there's nothing better to improve things for society than to ensure that we have a livable planet. Yeah, I'd say that the work we've done with Anthony Collins has put us into a more sustainable place as an organisation. It means that we don't have to spend hundreds of thousands of pounds on something that would be fundamentally opposed to our mission to actually conserve wildlife. Kent Wildlife Trust needs to make sure that the decisions it makes are in keeping with its charitable purposes. So in all decisions that Kent makes, it has to hold those reasons because that's its reason legally to exist. And so Kent Wildlife Trust's policy with respect to ash dieback needs to make sure that it is agreeing with that purpose. Making sure that the woodlands that people go into are a really enjoyable, vibrant ecosystem, but at the same time that there's no kind of unacceptable level of risk to them because of this invasive disease. Professionally, it is very satisfying to know that the work we're doing is making an impact for communities throughout the UK. We can get different expertise in the room to tackle quite complicated problems. It's very important to work with a, a principally aligned organisation, one that understands where we're coming from.